Is your first thought that the answer to this problemo is zero? It is incorrect. Let's take a look. In order to answer this question, we need to look at our order of operations, aka BIMSA. Now this tells us that we need to address brickets first, then indices, multiplication and division. These can be done together and subtraction and addition. Now in this case, we have a subtraction and then we have multiplication. We actually need to do this bit first before we can do the subtraction. So even though this is the highlight and you think it's zero, we need to do these bits first. Guys, if you're enjoying what you see, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button and repost this for your friends and family. Now, another cool trick we can use here is I don't want to do 123 times nine. I notice that this negative creates two separate terms. So I'm actually going to use some cheeky algebra here and use some factorization. I see a nine in both of these two terms. I'm going to factorize out the nine and introduce a bracket and say what's left. If I factorize out the nine, I'm left with 123 subtract 23. And now we can use our BIMSA again and address what's in here. 123 take away three, 23 is 100 times by nine because between a bracket and a number is a multiplication sign. And there's our answer, 900. How many of you guys got that straight away? Nice.